Have you ever dreamed of using AI to transform your friends' or family's photos, or even your clients, into stunning 3D characters or creative cartoon styles? Imagine effortlessly turning any image into anime, manga, fantasy art, or breathtaking designs with just one click. With a powerful AI tool and its innovative image-to-image -image feature, you can reimagine photos as professional quality art, without any special skills or advanced software. Whether it's for social media, your website, or personal projects, this AI makes photo editing fun, seamless, and accessible to everyone. Stay with me, and I'll show you how to take your photos and your creativity to the next level. Hi everyone, my name is Iman, and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel don't forget to like and subscribe let's get started iman global youtube channel first we visit the design ai website we need to create a user account to do this click on the yellow button labeled start for free at the top right corner of the website in the pop-up window sign up to design you can create an account using either your email or your google account i'll click continue with google Select one of my Google accounts, and this will log me into Design AI's platform. Previously, I've shared numerous tutorials on my channel introducing the features of this AI. I recommend checking them out. At the time of publishing this tutorial, Design AI offers 180 credits for free when creating an account, with no payment required. These credits also recharge every month. This free plan is sufficient for generating images using the text image service changing their styles via the image-to-image -image service, or using other features of this AI. However, please note that there's no guarantee these conditions will remain the same forever. Changes to the platform's plans or tools may happen in the near future. If you watch this tutorial and notice changes in the plans, don't accuse me of providing false information. I've clarified this right now. As a content creator, I strive to deliver accurate and up-to-date information. I hope you evaluate my content fairly and with full understanding. Now let's move to the AI tools section and click on the image to image option. A workspace with an image inside it appears. On the right panel, I click on the layers tab. Here, I delete the image layer present in the workspace. To adjust the workspace size and aspect ratio, I click on the numerical option at the top left corner of the website. In this panel, I can manually set the exact canvas dimensions or the aspect ratio. Since I'm creating content for YouTube, I select the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. To change the style of an image, we need to upload one. For this, I click on the upload icon at the top left corner of the site. In the pop-up window, I choose the image I want to style from my hard drive and upload it. Using the drop-down menu at the top right corner of the site, you can zoom in or out on the canvas and workspace. For this project, I set it to 75%. Next, I click on the drop-down menu for styles. In this section, you'll find a wide range of creative styles to transform your images into forms like 3D animation, anime, line art, pixel art, comic, retro, black and white, and many more. On the left, these styles are categorized for easier access. For the first test, let's use the image to image feature to convert an image styled as real into an anime style. To do this, I click on Anime from the left menu and select one of the presets, specifically Ethereal Enchantments. Now we move on to the other settings in the Image to Image panel. By adjusting the Style Intensity parameter, we can control how prominently the chosen style is applied in the result. Changing the Structure Match parameter allows us to control how closely the generated image aligns with the input's structure and content. The Color Match parameter, when toggled on or off, helps preserve the main color tones in the image and enhances the structure match. The face match parameter, when enabled, preserves up to four face identities. Lastly, the high quality parameter ensures detailed, high quality generation. After making these adjustments, I click on generate and then activate the results tab, where the new images will be displayed. My request enters the queue, and after a short while, the images are ready. The results panel displays thumbnails of four images. Hovering over them enlarges the images for a closer view, allowing me to compare the new creations with the original. The process of converting a real image into an anime style using Design AI is remarkable. 
All four results are stunning. I double-click on each of them, adding them to the workspace. In the Layers panel, I toggle each layer on and off to compare the original image with the newly generated ones and select the best. To download the selected images from the image-to-image -image process, I deactivate the layers I don't need, keeping only the desired image active. I then click the Export button at the top right corner of the site. A new window opens, offering three file format options, JPG, PNG, and SVG. I select JPG. From the Upscale section, I can increase the image size and quality. But for now, I choose the default 1x setting. Finally, I click Download, and the selected image is saved to my hard drive. Note that there's also a download button on the thumbnails in the results panel, which allows for quick downloads. Let's explore another design AI style. I deactivate all layers in the layers panel except the original image. Clicking on the drop-down menu for styles, I select the flamenco dance style from the choose a style window. With the same previous settings, I click on generate. The request enters the queue, and after a short time, the images are ready. Again, I hover over the thumbnails in the results panel to enlarge and review them. The transformation into the flamenco dance style is incredibly artistic, and all four images are amazing. I double-click to add all four to the workspace. Using the layers panel, I compare each new layer with the original image and select the best one. I deactivate the unwanted layers, leaving the selected one active, and click export to download it in JPG format. Next, I want to use the image to image feature to transform a real image into the 3D animation style. I activate the original image in the workspace, click on the styles menu, and select the innocent cutie preset. Based on my experience, this preset works exceptionally well for this type of transformation. With the previous settings unchanged, I click generate. The generated images are displayed in the results panel after a short wait. I review and compare them with the reference image, choose the one I like best, and download it using the process explained earlier. Finally, let's test the unique style only found in Design AI, the paper cutout style. I ensure the reference image is active, click on the styles menu, and select paper cutout. This style is a personal favorite of mine for its distinctiveness. After adjusting the settings and clicking generate, the images are prepared and displayed. I review and select my favorite then download it in JPG format. Design AI offers multiple anime styles, each with unique characteristics. For the final test, let's transform a real image into the Vivid Tableau's anime style. I activate the original image, select the style from the menu, and click Generate. The results appear, and I compare them to choose the best. After selecting my favorite, I export and download it as described. Enjoyed this tutorial? Don't keep it a secret. Hit that like button and share the excitement with your friends. This is only the start. There's a whole world of amazing content waiting for you. If AI sparks your curiosity, you're in the perfect place. Subscribe now and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss a video. Let's uncover the endless possibilities of AI together because AI is the future. Ready to jump back in? Catch you in the next tutorial.